straight, doesn't it? All right, we're just gonna move the light. I apologize for the noise. There we go. Fabulous. Hello, gorgeous humans. Welcome back to another live stream. If you can hear me, please let me know in the chat. Otherwise, could just be talking to myself with absolutely nobody being able to hear anything, which would be lame. It is Friday for me. I am so glad it's the end of the week. I am zonked, <laughs> to be completely honest, and very aware that the end of the month is approaching very quickly. There's really not that much time left. Well, for today, uh, not too sure what we're doing, but to start with, I had a request to do a pen swatch of the calligraph pens that are coming in the March sub box, in particular with relation to like a comparison between some of the other colors. Now, as far as the calligraphs go, so this is the one Into the Wild set to go with the kind of Into the Wild box. Uh, this is technically like a spoiler, so apologies, I probably should have said like spoiler warning or whatever. Um, we did swatch these yesterday, but just to give you guys a little bit of a recap here, so we have this kind of like bright green color, which is called Parakeet, and both ends of that are the same. We have a dark green, which is called Jungle Green, which is more of like a blue green. It's very pretty. Um, and both ends of that one are the same. We have a gold slash yellow, which is called Toucan Orange, and one end of this is yellow, and the other end of this is definitely orange. Uh, so that one is one of our, like, I don't know, twin tone kind of dual tip pens. We have a minty green, which is called Blue Lagoon, and both ends of that are fairly similar, if not the same. Yeah, pretty much the same. And then we have a kind of another minty green, like a, a light, light green, slightly less bluish. And that one is the same on both ends as well. Now, those are our set from the Into the Wild pack. So we'll put these back and tuck them to the side. Um, so the request was made about doing a color comparison um, for the greens in particular between those and stuff that's already out. So these are the calligraph pens that I already own. They are from the Tropical set and the Jewel set. So I don't have any of the like ones that recently got released as part of the um the spring release. Uh, but I'm very excited because I get I got both sets of those and they're on their way. So this is a green, that's more of a peach, that's a yellow, so we'll pull that out. That's a yellow, that's an orange, so we'll grab that. Um, we've got some greens here that we can compare. And we've got a kind of like limey green for this one. So this one is parrot green, which I think was the one in particular that was requested for the um, uh, like comparison of colors. Um, we'll grab this orange out as well and we'll compare that as well. Yeah. So the ones that we've swatched already, those are from the sub box. They are coming in the March subscription box. Um, so if you're already a sub box subscriber, that one will start getting shipped at like, I don't know, end of this month, start of next month kind of a thing. If you want to sign up for the new sub box, um, then you need to wait to sign up until I think it's like the 8th of March. Um, there'll be an announcement about it. But if you sign up to it now, you won't be getting the March sub box. You'd be getting the December one. Cool. So having a look, parrot green in particular, so that color, yeah, is fairly similar to the um, one that we have in that sub box. Okay, let's see. So this guy was called parakeet, and this one is called parrot green. And they do look very similar in terms of their coloration. Um, let's put that up so you guys can actually see it. Like, there might be a slight difference, but it wouldn't be a difference to really write home about kind of a thing. So that one is, it kind of feels like a, a bit of a double up. Wait a second. Who are you? This is Teal. Okay, let's have a look at Teal compared to this guy. Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. So Teal, wait a second, that's Teal. And that's mint. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. So, we've got quite a similarity between that guy and mint, don't we? That looks pretty similar too. Interesting. Alright. And this is mustard, so this is more of like a kind of burnt yellow, so that one's not 
really similar, like even from a distance you can kind of tell that. Um, and the other end is quite dark, so not so much that one. What about this one's called Lime Green, but that's a lot more yellowish, but it's still a much brighter yellow than that one there. Um, the other end of this is still the same colour. And this one is orange yellow, so let's put that one up here. So it is different. Like, you can see that the two oranges are very different to each other. And the yellows are different to each other, even though it might be a little hard to tell. Let's do a bigger stroke of those ones. So a broad stroke. This one here being the orange yellow, which is from maybe the tropical set, I assume. And we grab out our toucan orange. And do a stroke of that one. So... They are similar, but there is a slight difference, which might not show up so well on camera, but there is a slight difference. But yeah, so color comparisons are helpful. I think that you don't have anything so far that's like the parrot green, um, not parrot green, forest green, apologies. So the jungle green is very much standalone. We don't have anything that's like that one. We have a similarity between the broad tip um, of the yellow one, or whatever it's called, toucan orange, uh, but the fine tip one is very much more like a saturated orange than a darker kind of golden yellow. We don't have a buddy for the marsh green, which is that light one, and then our parakeet versus our parrot. Let's do a broad stroke of those ones too, so there we go. That's the one from our sub box. And then parrot green. So they do look quite similar. Like, slight difference, but it's only, like, very slight. Yeah. There we go. I didn't test the thin tip of that one, did I? Oh, no, that, that's the thin tip again. But yeah, so they, yeah, fairly similar. So, the ones that are distinctly different would be these guys and, yeah, probably just these two in particular and then the orange end of this one. Yes. So hopefully that helps some of you guys, um, you know, if you're thinking about uh, getting the sub box or, you know, if this box isn't for you, either or. Um, I think that a lot of people will be very pleased having an A5 white dot grid notebook. Some people may not be so pleased about the perforated pages. Um, oh yeah, no, some of these I didn't, I totally didn't swatch, like, the orange one, which is a lot darker, um, I think. Yeah, like, you can kind of even see that. If I put them next to each other, the orange that we already have is much darker than the orange that comes in the sub box. Um, yeah. Who's this? That's the orange yellow, we already looked at him. And mustard was darker, and lime green was much more, much more light. Yes. We did look at, did we look at moss green? Moss green still looks too dark. Yeah, it's too dark. Moss green, moss green's fine. Olive will probably be too dark as well. If anything, it's close to that one, but it's nowhere near as blue as the jungle green is. Yeah, so still a difference there. All right, let's put these guys away. So that's our little color comparison, just for the sake of completeness. Um, yeah, so I personally prefer A5. A5 is great. Um, the notebook is not B5. That has been a, like, a piece of information that I think came from somewhere that just, they got it wrong. I think that they were, um, not notebook people, so they didn't really know. <laughs> but just, you know, for the sake of comparison, this is the journal that comes in the box. Uh, we can open it up just for anybody who hasn't seen it. I know we looked at it yesterday, but some of you guys might not have had a look. Um, so we have this really cute monstera leaf on the front, which I think a lot of people will like. We have the vegan faux leather. As you can see, it is the same size as the A5s. This is my current A5 that I'm using. Um, well, we'll just put you guys up a little bit so you can hopefully see, which means I might also need to move the light. Apologies. There we go. So, is A5, is 160 pages, um, we're thinking, you know, no gilded edges, white dot grid, we're going to pull this one down here, if I can, nicely. Because I don't want to rip it off. 
I try to not break anything. <laughs> um, and then on the inside, you guys can see we have that perforation along the edge. So you can rip the pages out if you don't like them. Yeah. Or for literally any other reason. <laughs> I think the nice part about having perforated pages like this is that if you needed another piece of white paper that perfectly fit the A5, you could pull it out of here and put it somewhere else. Um, yeah. I'm just saying. So, notebook. Very cute. Now. Now as we've done our sneaking and our peeking and we had a look at some stuff. Um, what do you guys want to do today? Because <laughs> I was kind of thinking we could do some more work in Vogel's journal or... We could do something else, I don't really mind. I'm feeling pretty chill today. I am... Um, oh God, I'm just so glad that it's the end of the week, to be completely honest with you. I am ready for a sleep-in. Not that I'm gonna have too much of a sleep-in, because tomorrow we have our patron live stream at 9 a.m., but like, getting up for 9 a.m. is still gonna be like, better than getting up at, I don't know, 6.30, boo hiss. There we go, put those away, put our beautiful calligraphs away, and get out some stuff. So, last time we were looking at Vogel's journal setup. We were looking at the fact that we're going to be doing a kind of MCU theme for him. And similar to what we had last month, I quite liked having the um little kind of Pokemon font headers and also not having to draw out the Pokemon font because that is a mission that I just, I see BF, I see BF honestly. So I'm going to be doing a similar thing, I think, but with the Marvel font instead. Um, so at work, I, you know, went and set up myself a kind of like little document so that I could have the little headers. Where did I put it? It is in my journal. I printed myself off some reference materials. So we have Marvel Red, yeah, with the little um, <laughs> initials for the days of the week that I can cut out and then stick in. Uh, we have my reference picture for our little Infinity Gauntlet that I'm going to be using, which I think is pretty cute. And then we have some little headers for uh, our kind of quote page, quote, quote, um, our cover page and the monthly log. So we're going to be putting those ones in. Um, Put my journal to the side and drink break tink of course drink of choice coke zero <laughs> oh it's nice to have you guys in the chat like saying hi to people and saying hi to each other it's like oh hey fancy seeing you here again <laughs> so for the actual cutting out of these banners um so Okay, let's take a step back. When I make the banners, I effectively measure up the space that I want them to fit in and size the box on, um, you know, Microsoft Word to fit those dimensions. So then when I print them off, they are the correct size for the page, is the, the general gist. So this one, in theory, fits along here. Though, now as I come to think about it, that one doesn't look long enough, does it? That one looks like it's only... 19. I set it to 19. What's happened? Have I confused myself? No, it should be 19. But we've only printed 18 and a half. What an interesting happening. And these guys are 12 and a half, even though they're supposed to be 13. What happened? That's very peculiar. Because these ones, at least, I know that I set it to 13. Yeah, it's cool. I'll just trim it and then stick it like halfway up, I ain't mad. But usually what I would do, sad face, would be measure them up so that then like, they fit perfectly to these dot dot dots. <laughs> yeah, the dot grid. Um, these ones, okay, these ones I know I set to be two and a half centimeter squares, so let's see. Okay, so they are two and a half centimeters, which is very interesting as to why the other one didn't turn out that way. Curiouser and curiouser. Maybe it has something to do with, like, the orientation of the page, or possibly the fact that my computer kept on trying to set it back to inches, which was kind of annoying, but as is life, things happen. 
So this guy here, my what, my rotary trimmer, or what do we call it? I call it a guillotine, even though I'm pretty sure a guillotine's one that you, but little rotary trimmer has a nice little blade and just like cuts the paper. But it's attached to a ruler, so you cut it nice and straight, which is good. We like that. We like that for Jess. She likes the straight edge cut. It makes her happy. Plus, it, it especially on the longer edges, like on the smaller edges, it's not the, the much of a deal. But on the longer edges, it's way easier to get a nice straight cut with a paper trimmer like this. Compared to trying to do it myself. <laughs> there we go. Audio is good for you? Yeah. Um, the audio may at times be inconsistent, um, for sure, because uh, it's just my phone's microphone, which isn't like the super best microphone ever, but um, hopefully, hopefully you guys can hear me. Anytime I say that, I feel like kind of like Gilderoy Lockhart, like, can you all hear me? Can you all see me? But like, trying not to be quite as creepy. <laughs> there we go. So this is our little March banner. That one's gonna run up the side of this page, which I'm very upset about the fact that it's not measured quite correctly. Like it's even it's even too small this way because it was, I measured it so that it would be the right size, but it is what it is. So that guy's gonna sit here. Um, I'll just attach it with some double-sided tape kind of a thing. And then those two headers are gonna sit on our front page, which, I feel like if it's not tall enough, that's gonna bother me though. Okay, so it's 2.4, even though it's supposed to be 2.5. Boff. Yeah. What, the schedule just happened across it? This one? Or was this scheduled? It was scheduled, Um, but I forgot to set it to public. <laughs> So I only kind of advertised it um, like half an hour ago, or maybe maybe a little little longer than half an hour ago now. Um, yeah, I set them all up on Tuesday, and then totally forgot to actually go and set them to public, which was a little bit uh, silly of me. <laughs> it was a choice, uh, meant that people couldn't like you know schedule reminders and stuff. So I do apologize for that. Um, I have learned a lot about live streaming this month, which was kind of the point of doing it as many times as I did. Um, just trying to find find my groove with it, be a little more comfortable on camera, all of that kind of stuff. <coughs> that looks cute. Avengers Assemble. The sad thing is, is that the font that I was using did not actually have a, um, comma like that wasn't one of the characters that came with the font so I had to go and find another font where the comma kind of looked like it fit and I didn't necessarily find a perfect one I actually don't even remember what font I went with in the end because I tried so many different ones but so we'll just stick it so it's like halfway across both of those boxes that looks pretty cute <laughs> yes yes yeah, I think that, yeah, it's been, it's been nice kind of with the lives and like, you know, the interaction and I prefer hangouts to lives, if I'm honest, because like, I don't have to be the one that's always talking. <laughs> um, so I like the, you know, on hangouts, like on um, Discord and stuff, we can just uh, banter and other people can talk and share things and stuff and it's a little bit more real time because... Uh, you know, everybody's on video, or at least audio, um, which is kind of nice. We had our first kind of like Jashi Kurin community, quote, quote, yes, I have claimed it as my own, um, kind of like wider Discord, so rather than, or like Discord, sorry, wider hangout, so rather than just a hangout for my patrons, it was like everybody who's on the Discord was invited and could come along, and that was quite nice, that was cool. Um, and I think we're, we're planning on doing one this weekend as well, possibly. Like we have our book club meeting on Sunday in the morning and then I've got my personal patron hangout. So maybe we'll schedule another one for like 
two o'clock or something because then like maybe some different people could come along because I don't want to schedule it at the same time every weekend and then have people not be able to to come along um and of course like if you want to go and hang out on the discord and just be in the free chat like the voice channel and you can just do that you don't have to wait for like an actual scheduled time but it's it's fun it's a good time Ah, uh, Coke, I miss you. My first Coke of the day, and I'm like, I love, I love you, and I love the bubbles. I love the bubbles, and I probably also love the caffeine. <laughs> so, you can kind of see how this is taking shape. So we have Avengers Assemble, and then we've got the little, um, like, list of the movies here, where Vogel can put his, his ratings. And then on this side with March, that's where we're going to have our little infinity gauntlet that we're gonna color in which again I sized it very specifically and didn't really turn out that way so if I were a better person I would just draw this from the reference but I'm not so what I'm going to end up doing is tracing this like I'm totally okay with that because it's gonna save me time and it'll probably just end up looking better so as part of that I'm going to prepare this piece of paper for tracing by flipping it over and coloring in the back with a pencil. Because um, effectively how it works is that you put the pencil on the back to kind of like, I don't know, build up the graphite. You then flip it over, stick it into the right place just with a little bit of washi tape and then outline where you want all of the tracing to happen so that then it transfers to the page. Nice and easy. I need a pencil. Where is my pencil? Oh dear, my drawer has started getting a little bit messy with some some of those extra pens and pencils that I don't really have a space for just yet. Like these guys. I'm kind of just chilling. Chilling in my drawer. Uh, that is something. I don't know if that's dark enough. I've had these pencils since I was like in year eight or something. <laughs> This is a 6B. That's going to be really dark. I probably don't need a 6B. That's a bit aggressive. Um, this is a 4B, which means I think that might be a 2B, which probably will be fine. Yeah, we'll go with this one then. I think it pays to have pencils with different, like, graphite softness or whatever, so that then you can, uh get different darknesses on your line work or in this case my shading work <laughs> so we're gonna need to go out to here and over there over here so you can kind of see through the paper um, and see where I'm putting this because I don't see the point of putting the graphite everywhere like all over the back of the page when I'm only gonna be tracing in the center part like that that seems a little pointless there we go Yes, my Progresso pencil snapped in half because I probably dropped it or something. What an egg. Ruined my perfectly good pencil. There we go. That one. There. Excellent. So, this line now tells me that I just need to colour in everywhere in the middle of here. I can kind of just go like this. Which is nice. Check, check, check. Check, check, check. Yeah. Also, if you're able to make it, you should totally come along to our live stream that we're having tomorrow because it's the live stream where I get to invite some of my cool Boudreaux peeps. And we're gonna play Quiplash together. And it's going to be super fun. And it'd be nice to have you guys along in the audience to vote for the funny answers. Because that's effectively how Quiplash works. You vote for the funniest answers. <laughs> and it's always a good time. There we go. What time is it tomorrow? It is already scheduled, so it should already be available to view on my channel. Let's see if I can find a link to it. Um... It is 2 p.m. my time, so it's like whatever time it is now, minus like 
two, two hours and a half. Yeah. So if you take it back to whatever the hour is now, like in our current hour, and then like two hours before that, <laughs> but tomorrow. <laughs> Did that make any sense? I feel like that was poorly explained. Um, let's see if we can find the link. Get the shareable link. Paste the shareable link. There we go. Excellent. Yes, so there's a patron live tomorrow, and then we have... Yeah, we've just got like everything happening this weekend because February's short, <laughs> so everything fell this weekend. So yeah, tomorrow we have the patron live in the morning. Um, then we have the regular live with the, um, you know, with everybody uh, and the, the, the Boudreau peeps. And then on Sunday we have the patron hangout and we have the, um, oh, what's the other thing called? The book club meeting. So yeah, like... This weekend is busy. And I have to make my video for Vogel's journal setup. So we're not actually going to set his journal up together. Um, that one I'm going to film separately. Uh, but we're going to prepare my stuff for it. Prepare my stuff so that we can set Vogel's journal up on a regular video. But you guys get to see like all the behind the scenes stuff. All of the prep work that actually went into making it as opposed to just the uh hey look i have a pen <laughs> look at me put a pen in my journal or like whatever there we go oh and you're seeing a burlesque show tomorrow yeah and i'm going to vogel's parents place for dinner i've been told as well there's something on this page and it's scratching my pencil stop that Beautiful. Yeah, it's it's hard to do. Um, it's hard to translate between different time zones. Like some time zones, I'm okay with. Like I can do Central Time to regular time. Re I say regular time. My regular time. Apologies. Um, only because of the Archer and all of releases. Um, but I can't do a lot of other ones like i can do australian eastern standard time to, to our time because that's where my parents live um but other time zones uh, yeah i'm completely lost on i usually just go online and find a calculator <laughs> which there doesn't actually seem to be a, like a truly good easy to use calculator for time zone calculations online which can be quite frustrating build up some color here so that when we do the tracing it will actually transfer properly like we'll have sufficient gray gray lead or whatever to transfer I'd be interested to know what you call these kind of pencils like a pencil with um like not a colored pencil what do you call a pencil that has the um you know graphite in it if you had to be more specific than just a pencil because I typically would call it a grey lead pencil. Like, so you'd have a grey lead pencil and a coloured pencil. But then both of, both of them are just pencils. But like, even though it's not lead, it's, it's graphite, but it's still. Mm. I'll pick up your pencil, Jess. There we go. That looks good. That's sufficient colouring. We've got good coverage. Here we go. So, in terms of the tracing trick, something I've started doing uh, to just kind of help myself keep track of where I have gone over is that when I go over sections, um, instead of using a pencil again, I'll use a pen. A pen that has a colour that's fairly bright, so I can actually see where I've put things in. Um, drink break. <laughs> Yeah. <coughs> a mechanical pencil. <laughs> mechanical pencil. Yeah, the one that I'm using here, I'm pretty sure it's a B4 because I had one of each and the B6 just seemed like, or a 6B rather. So this is a 4B uh, pencil. I'm pretty sure. I've lost the end of it though, where it actually tells you. <laughs> Um, what next? We're 
gonna need some washi to tape this into the page. And I'm gonna cut along the bottom of it so I know where to line it up properly. Which I left my scissors downstairs, which is super helpful. Um, need some washi tape. I'll just use that one because it looks non-aggressive. There we go. Um, yeah. I don't have scissors. Okay, no wait. I've got my cruddy scissors. My cruddy, my cruddy scissors. They're like my take out of the house scissors. I don't like them, they're lame. <laughs> but we can use that to cut along the bottom here, just so we can line this up. Maybe a little closer again. I don't want it to be too close though, because I need to need to be able to trace this part. And there we go, that looks good. Just so we can line it up along the bottom of the page. Yeah, they're kindergarten scissors, they're the worst. I just wanted a little pair of scissors to like put in my pencil case so that they would actually fit, but I do not like them, they suck. Anywho, fine, me and my sucky scissors. My good scissors are downstairs because I was using them to help Rachel do something with her journal. But... So we're just gonna put Avengers Assemble and March. No, okay, we'll leave March here for just for now so that we can actually um see how things are gonna line up. So March is gonna go here, and then this guy is gonna go so he's like in the middle ish. There. Yeah. Alright. Now we can put that away. And now we can stick that down. Stay. <laughs> so just with some washi tape, um, to keep it in the right place while we do our little tracing trick. And I'll probably usually washi tape it in at a couple places um just so that then it's as secure as possible there. <clears throat> oh dear there we go just put that there. there we go that looks a little bit more safe now in terms of a pen that we can use because part of me wants to use my mechanical pencil so that I can get like the detailing right but the mechanical pencil is not going to be very visible do I have I also don't want to get any like if I'm using a pen to do it I usually use a um like a red pen like this because uh, the ink isn't super inky it won't just bleed through this paper and like onto the page below it because I don't want that um yeah, I'm gonna be working on this trace for a while. <coughs> uh, I got something stuck in my throat. It's really unpleasant. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Yeah. yeah. Watching this video, procrastinating. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna do it with this red pen. And we're just gonna hope for the best. Oh, there's a lot here, isn't there? Because I found a picture that was like this, but it was inverted, um, which I was kind of tempted to do instead, but then it, I felt like this detailing work in like the hammer and stuff and in the mask was going to be like a bit too much, a bit too challenging. So here we are. Anywho, we'll just start over here. Very good place to start. All right. You don't have to press too hard um, because in theory, if you've built up enough graphite on the back of the page, it should be fine. Uh, but you just need to make sure that you use enough graphite that it'll actually transfer. Yeah. <laughs> Should have put our music. Should have bought our music. Should have put our music on. We might do that before we get too far into it. Put our music on so we have our sweet background jams. <laughs> We'll just finish off Loki, because otherwise I will forget which parts I've done. Because even with the red pen, it can be kind of hard to see, given I've got so many black areas here. And I think that when I actually pen this in, I'm going to have to use my, like, extra small size pen, artist pen, possibly. Um, or even maybe my Muji. My Muji 3.38. Well, 
just to get some really fine details and then color the black sections in. Alrighty, let's put on our sweet jams. No, don't slice your finger. I managed to nick my finger today as well, which was not so fun. throat why I really sincerely hope that I'm not getting sick I'm pretty sure it's just like from excessive talking um <laughs> but yeah um, that one looks good no I don't want this the not saved version there we go and again if my music is too loud just let me know we'll turn it down a little Pen haul video. That might be interesting. But well, like, of all of the pens that I have, that would be uh, not as time consuming as a journal tour, but. <laughs> there we go. Well, we have Black Widow symbol on this one. It kind of like hourglassy kind of shape. Keep going. I do need to find who the original um, artist of this piece was because I couldn't really find a definitive answer. Um, when I looked last time, but I did do a very brief look because it was just like, you know, I usually do a more in-depth look um, when I go to do the voiceover for my videos because I want to make sure that in my video I'm giving the credit to the, to the right person. Yes, it, it very much irks me when um, people have taken work from somewhere else. Um, you know, not not like necessarily my work or anything, just like taken work from somewhere else. And it is quite obvious that they have done that based on what they have created. And then they just don't mention. They just don't mention that the, they got that idea from someone else. Like, you are robbing people of their potential to find cool creators that are doing things that they like and you're kind of being a thief you're an idea thief <laughs> mm. I love how some of these like characters symbols or whatever is just their face like that's that's all it is <laughs> like what the guardians of the galaxy all their faces and um Scarlet Witch, I assume. Big assumption there, but. I think that Mr. Star Lord's face here is gonna take me a little while because it has a fair bit of like detail compared to some of the rest of our little drawings. To the extent where I'm like might just simplify it when I actually draw it out, but for the point of tracing, I will put everything in. It's very hard to do this and keep an eye on the um on the chat, so I do apologize if I miss anything from anyone while I'm doing my tracing work. I think the part that I liked about having this inverted is that they effectively just had like the outlines of each segment and it meant there wasn't quite as much um like sections of black to fill in but then you have to kind of like do the inverse of that thin black line which would just be a bit of a mission same with like the black lines on these trying to color up too but not including a line 
all going every uh, over everything, like in the white gel pen, which would also be a mission. But yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I totally don't remember which parts of this I've done. And I know that's why we're using the red pen, but sometimes it's a little hard to tell with the black background. It looks pretty reasonable. Kind of a picture to peek. You can't really see because I stuck this down really well. Mm -hmm. That was a choice. All right. To rocket. This is a test. If you saw this, you're paying good attention. <laughs> Why are you testing me? Why are you testing me? Yeah, because I liked that this kind of just brought all the characters together without having to draw all of the characters individually, because that would have just been a mission. And then too much effort for me. the kind of stylized version of this. I think it's cool. Are you gonna do the Infinity Stones and Metallic Acrylographs? I was kind of thinking about it, eh? I was thinking that I could. Um, either that or like kind of add in some kind of a highlight to make them look more gemstony rather than flat color because I think that I think I'd like that um, a bit more than just flat color I think a little bit of shine to them I'm not too sure about if I'd use the metallic acrylographs just because they end up kind of more silver possibly so it's like maybe I could just do some like white highlights with um like a gel pen or something but i haven't quite decided on that yet so we've done our phalange bits one two three four oh it's a glove right uh i don't know you get the idea um yeah oh well it must be like that right wait no because that's supposed to be on the top ah whatever <laughs> do you usually have lots of inspiration from others when bullet journaling or come up with your own ideas so for this journal in particular, because these themes aren't really, like, um, for me, I've been looking at a lot of inspiration um, from other places, but in my own journal, it's very much a combination. Uh, so, when thinking of a, uh, like, new bullet journal theme that I'm trying, I typically like to start with just thinking through my own ideas first before I go looking for inspiration. Just so I can, you know, rather than getting distracted by the shiny lights of what everything, everybody else is doing and stuff, I can actually just process through, like, what do I actually need from these spreads? What do I think is gonna be valuable? Um, what do I know works for me? What's something that I wanna try? And then, once I've got my own ideas sorted, I'll go and have a look at what other people have done in that space see if I can't find some like art style ideas or stuff like that. Um, so I do like to try and make sure that I am providing you guys with uh, different ideas, like you know, different from what you're already seeing online, but we also can't reinvent the wheel every time, you know? It also kind of triggers me that the stones aren't in rainbow order. I know that they're not in the movie either, but like, it's triggered. Obviously finding that I'm like leaning on the red pen, that's why I keep checking the back of my hand because I don't want to smudge red pen 
over onto my uh, <laughs> white paper. Let's see, this design is one in particular that I'm like, hmm, would have been better inverted. Because actually being able to draw this out is going to be hard. I might just draw them in like that. might be one of the ones that I just go over and wipe pen. Alright. What if you're indecisive of things? There are so many spread ideas you can only do on a bullet journal and you can only do so many things at once. Um there are certainly months where I try more more spreads than others. Um, I kind of try and think about it in terms of like what my priority areas are. Uh, so like of all the spreads that I want to do, which ones are a priority for me right now? Like in this season of life, whenever it may be, or this month in particular, which which spreads am I going to actually get the most use out of, or or do I most want? to do um, if you have to um, pick and choose a lot of the time I don't pick and choose um, I just go you know what, stop it I'm doing everything um, what I find more difficult to do is especially when it comes to like um, theme work yeah is a uh, narrow down the way that I want to do like the decoration on something um, so like for instance if we take my koi fish theme so it's like oh i could do 31 little koi fish like one for each day of the month or i can do seven bigger koi fish with a certain number of spots on them or maybe instead of the koi fish i focus on the lily pads and then i do like 31 lily pads or i could just do like a vertical habit tracker and then do little koi fish around them kind of thing like you know all of the possible ideas with that Yes. Aww. Wow. Your budget must love you, but that would just make me sad. <laughs> no, no, no. This is not all done in the journal yet. We still have many, many more pieces left to go. But we're making progress. We're getting there. Do, 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 do. Listing all the ideas, narrowing it down, it's typically the way that I like to do things. Um, obviously, like with each month I have like staple items, so it's pretty staple that I'll have a cover page of some description. Um, it's pretty staple that I'll have a quote page of some description. Uh, the monthly log, I've kind of come to the conclusion that the uh, calendar style of that is my favorite and I know that when I do a calendar style monthly log I like to I like to have um boxes that are three centimeters by three centimeters most of the time so that's usually kind of a restriction that I can place on myself for March I've done it a little differently but you know this is just the typical if we're thinking about like my typical layouts I liked, I, well, I used to have a habit tracker. Um, habit tracker used to be a staple. It's not a staple anymore though, because we've moved that to the weeklies. I'm excited to set my weeklies up tomorrow. I really need to plan out what kind of weeklies I'd like to do though. So you can 
see I've transferred some red here. I think I need like put a sticky note. <laughs> We need to be careful with where we place said sticky note, um, because if we place it too far under, then we're not actually going to trace onto the page, we'll just trace onto the sticky note. <laughs> there you go. Protect the page. Talking about the spring release, perhaps. Yeah, I I spent a pretty penny in the spring release. I'm not mad. I'm very excited about my order um, for when it arrives, but my bank account's not so happy at me. But we'll just we'll make up make it up to it later. <laughs> it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Cause I ended up spending two hundred and ten before shipping. Um, and then the shipping for my order and my friends, because we, we kind of combined it. Uh, so the order itself was like 450 US dollars, and then the shipping was 122. <laughs> and I'm just like, um, oh dear, oh no, that's not quite, that's not quite right. We don't like this, but it is what it is. That's what happens when you live in, you know, the tail end of the world, down here in not so sunny New Zealand, well, sunny some places, it was pretty sunny today, it was also kind of windy, but it was pretty sunny. Who's the M for? I honestly don't know who this one is for, but I'm putting it in, I say like M for... No, literally can't think of anybody. <laughs> um, how do you enjoy the process of, how do you enjoy the process of something and take your time on something? Animation, I'm not understanding enough of what the thing is so it doesn't seem as interesting. Um, I don't think they understand the question. <laughs> I might have to reread that. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't think I understand what the question is, but if you want to try and pitch it to me in a different way, then maybe I'll be able to answer it. Sorry. Um, but I would like to answer your question, but I, I don't quite understand what the question is. Sorry. Little, little baby Groot. I am Groot. I am Groot. I am Groot. did that edge, didn't I? Gosh, I so want to go back and watch the Marvel movies now. <laughs> uh, yeah, time-wise, I'm at the, yeah, I'm at the beginning of the Earth. That's a much more positive way to think about it. But it does, yeah, I think that the hard part is, um, for the Archer and Oliver releases in particular, like, with the time difference, they might be releasing it at 9am, um, what, central time? That's 4am for me, so it makes it hard for me to, like, promote this stuff, um, like, as, as well as I could. But it also means that I can't necessarily nab myself stuff, um, when it gets released. Which was why I was very excited about this, uh, <laughs> the, 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 tu the Tuesday one, Tuesday, uh, because it was at 2.22, which was at 9.22 a.m. my time. So I could actually, I was actually awake for the release, which, which was nice. Did the 
camera just shake for you guys or is it just me? No, I think we're okay. Sometimes I'm like, was it an earthquake or was it just like somebody plonking around? <laughs> We haven't had any earthquakes, I think, well, like, no noticeable ones at least, um, while we've been on a live stream, which is kind of nice, um, because they can be a little bit scary, we don't need that. We're trying to have a nice chill time to get them and just hang out and do some journaling, do some sketching, do some you know, tracing or whatever. Just be chilling. Excuse me, oh my god. I need to charge my watch. It's angry at me. Yep, it's certainly angry at me. <laughs> Wait, I'm low on battery. Why aren't you paying attention to me? I have needs. Oh my god. Hi, Steph. Glad you could make it. Make it along to hang out with us. Hang out with the fine folks of the internet. way to color this one in is going to be like doing some thick black lines rather than the specific line work. So if we just do the circle around because that's probably what I'll end up drawing and then in the middle we just do like the lines going through and then on the side we do the line going up. Perfect, but it's fine. Because it's just the tracing. Ugh, so much red. The glove is cool, eh? <laughs> what are you guys doing binary for? Isn't it like zero, one, two, three? Wait, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Wait, am I doing this the wrong way around? Yeah, I am. Okay. Wait, no, no, I don't remember. Is binary two zero one or one zero? Healthy, healthy, healthy. I also find it interesting that for some of these pieces, like, and like some of them, like this one, it's just white and open, but then on others, you get the line that cuts across. So. It's an interesting choice. The same idea with like a black panther down here. And the line kind of cuts across the the face at the top and bottom. Rather than um, being left open. Did not finish off Mr. Stark's emblem. Apologies, Mr. Stark. There we go. It's ten. Okay, okay, cool. So then that's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
like one zero 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 eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four <laughs> twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine thirty thirty one 32, yeah, so one zero 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 zero, yeah, I don't know, at least that's how I was taught to, to count in binary. It's not necessarily the most straightforward way, but it is the way that I am aware of. <laughs> edge so that we don't accidentally um how we say draw red onto the uh onto the paper that would be lame there we go falling into sleep oh i'm sorry <laughs> good night until we see you again tomorrow go over and colour in the paper because that would be lame. That would be lame banana. I also don't know how much of this I've done. Yeah no that looks pretty complete. I haven't come the whole way across with this part but I don't know you guys can kind of see it. There you go. <laughs> Not too shabby. Let's draw this one. that line going down the side like you did on the Black Panther one. You have the shield almost kind of like popping over the top of it with the white space. Because this one's Bucky, right? That's Bucky and and um, Steve. Hi Steph, glad you're here with us. Glad you could make it along. He's just doing some drawing. Well, Drawing is a strong word. We're doing some tracing. <laughs> we are tracing this fabulous gauntlet design into Vogel's journal. Because heck to the nah was I gonna be figuring out the spacing on this. I would not have found that to be how we say the business. Okay, I don't know who the diamond is, and I don't know who the. Because this doesn't, this doesn't look like anybody I know. This.
so I'm drawing these ones in, even though I don't know who they belong to. Um, <laughs> cause I kind of feel like most of them I could name in theory, but these these four that I've specifically pointed out, I'm like I literally don't know who you are. I think maybe the diamond is just like <laughs> reverse Black Widow. I like Black Widow, white brow head. There we go, is that? That looks pretty done. Pretty done. I think. I th okay, we'll remove this piece of tape. It's okay that the paper rips it, it really doesn't matter. Um, so we're going to hold up this side and see. That looks pretty good, eh? Like, our transfer is done. I haven't finished off this eagle though, so we need to... Eagle, sparrow, aggressive pigeon. There we go. So that looks better now. Um, yeah, and that comes down, it's black. I just like colour it in black so I actually know. black. Um, those all look good. Done, done, done. That one looks done. Yeah, alrighty. The diamond is... See, that makes so much sense now. Thank you, Becca. <laughs> Vision. There we go. Is that Ant-Man? No, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Very aggressive pigeon. <laughs> Alrighty, I think that that's all of them in then. Yes. Alrighty, I feel confident in taking this off now. And I would keep it, but I really don't think I need to because I have a reference picture on my computer now and we've done all of our tracing in and that's gone. It's dead to me. Boom. Not too shabby. That's looking cute. Um... We might just save this post-it note in the front of Vogel's journal, so that, which he still hasn't written his name in. And so the M has to be Captain Marvel. See, look, the M is Wanda. Okay, M being Wanda makes more sense because that's like her headpiece, right? When she's the when she's being Scarlet Witch, M being Captain Marvel wouldn't make sense to me because she's supposed to have the like. We drew it yesterday and I've lost my piece of paper, but she has like the eight pointed star that has like the, the two, I'll just draw it again. Alrighty, just pretend this is an eight pointed star. <laughs> we'll just chuck one of those down. There we go. That looks, that looks like kind of, that's six, but you get the idea. So it's like that. And then it has like the lines coming out and then going down and coming down. Um, and then it's like, and then this is red and that's blue. Or vice versa, yeah, yeah. So I think that that's, that's Captain Marvel, and that's Wanda. So that's Wanda, that's Vision, and that's something. Somebody. <laughs> but the rest of them at least I know. They're like Loki, Black Widow, uh, Mantis, Star-Lord, Rocket Raccoon. Then who's that? That must be Wise Gamora. Um, <laughs> Spidey Man. Nick Fury. Thor, whose hammer I totally didn't draw the top of. Like, completely, but whatever, it's fine. Um, Bucky. Steve. Groot. Iron Man. Hulk. Vision. Wanda. Black Panther. Doctor Strange. See, because I thought that was Hawkeye, because it's like, sharpshooter kind of thing, because Hawkeye to me is supposed to be like that one, because it's like the tail end of an arrow, that's why I was like, shrug, but like, that is an arrow, so it would kind of make sense, but it just looks a little odd, I'm not too sure. What, yeah, Encanto Boudreau theme, I think that that would be super cute. I know that there was somebody recently who did that, um, that posted in the Facebook group. They did a really good job of it. Um, they had, like, the perfect Encanto font. It was, like, really impressive. 
um, but I can't remember for the life of me who it was <laughs> that posted them there. Now I'm very tempted to go look it up, but I know that that would not be a, a valuable use of my time. <laughs> um, Alright, so that's looking pretty cute. I'm pretty pleased with that. I have so many tabs open right now, it's driving me insane. Um, let's see. So that's looking cute, and then we'll have the little... We'll just put them back over here, so... We'll have the little march header here. And then the little, like, gauntlet. And then we'll have our little Avengers Assemble, which is cute. And then we'll write our little list in. Yay! This is looking so cute! I'm very excited about it. Um, and then on the next page over, because we might as well finish drawing it in, um, we've got our little emblems. And then we've got our little march kind of banner going down the side. Um, and then in here is where we're going to put a quote. Now, I got Vogel to pick me some quotes out that he liked from Marvel. So we're going we're gonna to go have a look at what those quotes were. And see if there's um, see if there's one in particular that we can select as being a possibility for this theme. You can see I'm kind of mousing stuff around here, so I am I am still here doing things. Um, go on Facebook. Go on Facebook. Oh gosh, I love. I love it when people share their setups in our Facebook community group because you people are so damn talented, honestly. Like, some of the setups you do, I'm just like, wow. <laughs> like, the effort that it must have taken. You guys are very impressive. Um, let's see. So, uh, we need, we need, we need Vogel's message to me. Thank you, thank you. There we go. Yeah, 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 the crosshatch one is, is Doctor Strange, right? Like, this one's Doctor Strange. Um, is that what I said? What did I say? I meant to say it, my bad. <laughs> yeah. Um, what printer do I use? Shh, it was the printer at school. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> um, my printer is currently out of commission because it's a giant sack of dicks. Um, yeah. Do I know how to talk in Hindi? Uh, no, sorry, I don't know any. <laughs> um, I, I only know very small amounts of other languages and the main ones being like French, Japanese, the smallest amount of Spanish that it's laughable. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, and Tereo. A little bit of Tereo. Like I can say words, I can't really say phrases. Um, like Kai means food, Waiata is a song, uh, Karakia is a prayer. Um, what else do I know? Uh, nope, not nah. <laughs> things that are going, going to come in, come into mind. Uh, let's see. So, yeah, Vogel has given me a small selection. So the selection he has, and I'm like almost tempted to put it to a vote for you guys, but I don't know how many options I can put in a in a poll. Alrighty, we're gonna set up a little poll in our live stream chat. And we're going to see what you guys think the quote should be. I personally um, would be curious to see what you guys would think of it. Okay, so which quote should we go for in Vogel's March setup? Alrighty, we'll see if we can add some options. So quote number one. I don't know how many words you're allowed to put into it. You can do like some. So it's going to be like abridged. Let's see if I can figure this out. We'll do it as A, B, C, D, and E. Oh, just D. One of them I will eliminate. And then you guys can get rid of. There we go. Because we can only have so many letters here. This is a very important poll, obviously. Okay, so which quote should we go for in Vogel setup? You guys get to vote A, B, C, or D. I will tell you what the quotes are, okay? So, now, quote number one If you want to do something right,
make a list, <laughs> which I, I think is cool. Um, so that is option A. A, here we go. Option B is, there we go. Compromise where you can. Where you can't, don't. Right? Number C. Yes, it's number. Don't even at me with that. <laughs> um, you never know. Um, you hope for the best. And make do. With what you get. And D is um, a thing isn't beautiful because it lasts. There we go. Because the last quote is, you're only doing what you believe in and that's all any of us can do. It's all any of us should do. Which is also a good quote, but it was the last one on the list, so it didn't get to make it. It's not, it's not made it into the cut. If Vogel liked it enough, he would have put it first. So, these are our quotes. We have, if you want something, if you want to do something right, make a list, which I'm like, guys, it's a bullet journal. <laughs> um, we have, compromise where you can, where you can't, don't, which is very in keeping with Vogel's character. Um, you never know, you hope for the best and make do with what you get, which is like, a little optimistic but not as optimistic as it could be and then a thing is isn't i write is isn't 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 beautiful because it lasts which is from vision in age of ultron yeah so this this quote at the top here this one's from ant-man i think yeah what well, yeah scott lang ant-man from ant-man and the wasp yeah um this is peggy carter from Captain America Civil War and that one is from Nick Fury um, in Age of Ultron and that's Vision Age of Ultron yeah it seems that you guys feel similarly to how I feel <laughs> and that the one related to the list is like super fitting <laughs> um, everyone like the video fast <laughs> I should like the video I want to go like the video there you go I like the video too <laughs> So I think that given the voting that we have, A is our winner. Um, this, this is the quote we're gonna go for. There we go. Maybe we can put the other one somewhere else in Bogle set up like on a weekly or something, but that just like speaks to my soul. <laughs> there we go. Thank you for your input team. Always appreciative. Uh, yeah, for those of you who um, obviously are on the replay, you may not have seen that uh, because I don't think the polls actually show up on the replay but we'll put that here. We don't need that. We do need you. We need to put the quote down the bottom in the box. There we go. And of course, like, it's Paul Rudd. We love Paul Rudd. Now, this is where you're allowed to stop. If you want to do something right, make a list. Something right. Make a list. Dot dot dot. Love it. And then we just do a little dash. Scotty Lang L A N G L A I N G L I A N G L A N G. 
There we go. Bueno, love it. <laughs> what is what is grief if not love persevering? Oh, there's a lot of good quotes from um like the MCU. I mean, obviously there are quite a few movies, so like you're bound to get a couple. But um, I like that. That's quite cool. Alrighty, team. That looks pretty swish. So we've drawn out our gauntlet. We've got our headers in here. We've got our banner for down the side, and then we've already gone and drawn these guys in yesterday. What I do need to do <laughs> is some cutting. I need to cut out some uh, some beautiful little headers. And you can see I actually did the notes one this time around because last month I didn't, and I was like, "The doy, Jessica, what are you doing?" Um. Now, when it comes to cutting these ones, I think I'm actually just going to use my scissors because actually getting it on that white line is going to be kind of tricky. So I'm going to go grab my scissors. I'll be approximately one and a half minutes. I will see you shortly. <laughs> no more sneaking. Excellent. Alrighty, let's go do some stuff. We don't need sneak peeks. We need to cut out the little boxes. Gosh dang it. Gosh dang it. There we go. No more sneak peeks. <laughs> oh, hi. Oh, hi. What's up? I just finished work. Oh, good on you. I made a, made, so I'm working on a pepeha. A pepeha? Yeah. Well, we're cutting out your little boxes. I mean, do you want spoilers? Or well, you don't mind, do you? Nah, you already told me it's Marvel. You wanna see? Do you I wanna peeked see? at the hammers and whatnot before. Do you wanna see? There you go. So this is the little gauntlet that you got. Ooh. And then this is your little, like, we just, we're gonna put those in here. And then there. Yeah, like that. And then oh, you can, so cool. you can do a little writing kind of thing. So rather than doing a quote this time, you can use this little list. And then we can do marathon. Yeah? Yeah, not right now though, cause too much time but it'd be fun it goes up to spidey man and there's a little bit of space i don't know how many marvel movies are coming out this year point point uh doctor strange at least yeah so one um i think there's a couple others but doctor strange is like the one everyone's hyped for so hope but yeah so you can add them are to these this. yeah what order are they in the sequential are they yeah according to the internet i tried Oh. Yeah, they are. You're just being, yeah. you're being silly. Yeah, I think they actually, they're looking pretty good. They are. I'm just looking where. Uh... Every time I read this, I think it's The Incredibles and I get excited and then I read Hulk, I'm like, mm. 
<laughs> what was the one I was thinking of that looked a bit, a bit off? No, actually, that's looking pretty good. I'll exactly. give you that. Yeah. You snake. Anyways, so those are those. I'm those sure ones. we'll find an arrow pet. <laughs> so those are those ones I was showing you. And yeah. then this one goes down the side here. And then we voted and we decided that it was going to be this one because it's related to lists. And Paul Rudd said it. Yeah, I thought you might. I put that in specifically because I thought the bullet journalists might like it. Yeah, um, which is cute. And where's then, Spidey symbol? I didn't want to do Spidey symbol. It's Why too, not? It's too hard. <laughs> it's just his face. I. Fine. Which one do you not want then? No, no, no. You just cut that down a little bit. No. There. This is why we don't include me, guys. I'm a bit of a director. Which one do you want to get rid of for Spidey? Oh, no, I don't want to get rid of any of them. I want to add Spidey. Can we put Spidey there? Yeah, you can put He'd Spidey there. look weird. Well, that's why I said put it along the top there, but I got vetoed. Yeah, you got vetoed. I've, I vote no. I should tell you guys, I showed one of some of my colleagues my, was it January spread with the uh, Matrix stuff? And one of my colleagues said to me, fuck me, man, your, like, fiancé likes you, eh? Like, she really loves you. Like, put that effort in. Yeah, I put some effort in. I wrote the little symbols. Anyways. I know, right? So that's that one. And now we're just going and we're, we're cutting out the little red... We're cutting out the little red labels for you. Oh, very nice. Yeah. So then well, we can go there. I should be able to handle dinner. Okay. But uh, mainly I was including you because I was like... Do you want another egg fried rice no, fiasco? Oh my god, it was so bad. No, it's not my fault, guys. The recipe didn't tell me what to look for when it was done. So I updated my recipe. Oh, you made such a mess. It was, it was a clusterfuck. It was not good. Yeah. But it is done now. I'm very excited for our wonton soup. I will... I'm, I'm just going to do one week with the with the, the fam. And then we'll, we'll come downstairs and maybe help you. I mean, I'm going to do some exercise, so... Oh, okay. Well, like we've got plenty of time. Maybe yeah, so we'll you do... Can, maybe you we'll got do a bit seven. of time. We'll do seven weeks, even though there's only five. Bron do some cutting. Is that Bronwyn? Bronwyn. Bronwyn. That was uh, Babish's recipe, actually. So I updated it with um, some tips from Walks of Life. Walks of Life. Because he didn't... His rice was too wet. And then he didn't break it up before he put it in. So it was just this, like, wet, soggy mm. pile. Yeah, so my recipe told me to break it up in the pan. But the Walks of Life were like, no, get your hands in there if you put it in the fridge. And, like, break it up a lot. And then stick it in and then break up whatever's left. Yeah. So that was a key thing. And also, I basically, they're like, when it stops steaming, it's done. Yeah. And that did that a while ago. <laughs> Yours was mush. Yeah. It was not rice anymore. It was, like, rice pudding. But bad the bad rice pudding. <laughs> oh well. You go do your exercise. I will do. Thank you, Kelly. Aw, uh, thanks, Kelly. Is it Kelly? I think that would be Kelly, right? Yeah, Kelly or like Kel. But it's like, like with an L, like Kel. I don't know. Kel or Kelly, please tell us how to pronounce your name correctly in the <laughs> comments. <laughs> Otherwise, it's like, yeah, can, can you phonetically spell your name? And then she's like, it is phonetically spelled. And we're like, well, yeah. feck. <laughs> I'm very much going on, like, if there was a dash between the two L's and the E. Kel-L-L. Like, Kel-E. Kel-E. <laughs> yeah. Oh. See? Yeah, I don't know about this Spidey. Wonton soup. I'm excited. It's, it's, where's the wonton soup recipe from? Uh, this one's Marion's Kitchen, yes, and I'm Marianne. hybridizing it a little with Sam the Cooking Guy. Wait, why are you hybridizing Marion's recipe? Mainly because she'll make us make the wontons, and Sam's like, here's how to cook it if you just use store built, you know, ones you can throw in a. You know, you steamer. could just go and read the packet, because you can boil those ones, I'm pretty sure. I'll but probably can't do that we just, as well. like, make yeah. her one and then just put wontons on top at the that's, end? That's pretty much what we're doing. I right? hope so. I'm anyway, I'm gonna yeah. do this exercise. You get out of here. Body and my mind. See ya. Bye. Bye. Can we put that there? And that'll be kind of cute. It's kind of cute. We like that. Just very cute. Alrighty. Yeah. See, we we made leftover rice. We made rice the day before. I say we. I did nothing. Vogel made rice. Vogel made rice. Yeah. Kelly says her name is Kelly. Kelly said her name was Kelly. Excellent. Vogel says excellent. Vogel got that right. Vogel says he's glad he got that right. Yeah, so we made rice to have leftover rice, but it was too wet. And it was all plumped together. And then he didn't break it up. 
and then you put it in, and then it turned into mush, and then it was not, there weren't even rices anymore. It's like when somebody overcooks noodles, and the noodles are like, they just look like slightly ill-formed mashed potatoes. And you're just like, why? Why did I let Rachel cook me noodles? <laughs> Both Rachel and Vogel like their noodles more cooked than I have them. I am. Um, do not, do not prefer noodles that are done to the degree of done that they like. <laughs> Please help Vogel with his video releases. Yeah, I know. I fucking told him this. I told him. You can't just dump a bunch of content and be like, oh, that's me set for the next three months. That's not how it works. I tried. I tried. <laughs> is your name Dragon Lily as in like... Your name is Lily, or should we be referring to you as Dragon Lily, or should we be for referring to you as something else? That is my question. Um, yeah. Hey, Bubba. Hey, what's up? What'd you try? Um, Dragon Lily tells you you need to sort your shit out in terms of your release schedule. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she said it a lot nicer, or they. Apologies, I, I don't actually know. Um, in, in my, I think it says in my channel, I post when I feel like it. Yeah, deal with it. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. It's like, you know, I am eccentric is the word, right? You're not eccentric. You're a hooligan. Um, that yeah. being said, the Yu-Gi-Oh! ones, I can't remember when I scheduled them. I think I scheduled them for Wednesday and Friday. I'm hoping to try and keep to a relatively consistent schedule with those. The Pokemon ones are like bonus episodes, so I just released them when I felt like it. Yeah, well, Lily says that you need to check yourself because the algorithm won't like that and Jess says I agree yeah well I like messing with the algorithm fine but don't expect nothing from me I will be better <laughs> as I've said I need something from you so I can make my videos better so I can put an end card on them and yeah I'm but that's, on having an end card doesn't do anything for the timeline at which you are uploading my yeah, dear when it gets more professional I will be more professional when it gets more professional <laughs> <laughs> Vogel's trying to con me into making him an end card no, screen. No, I just said give me the background and I'll make it myself. You've just got the background. Why do I have the background? Because oh. you made it for my other stuff. You mean your, your, your yeah, banner well, art? Yeah, stuff. Oh, you shouldn't have said par. But yeah. that one's with your Captain Vogel. Yeah, yeah, so just give me a version without it. Oh my god, murder me. Um... Everyone's <laughs> just enjoying this conversation. Which, where does the S go? Does the S go that way? No, that looks weird. Let's go that way. But that also looks weird. Show two options? Which way? Oh my god, I have no idea. Stop being a dick. No, genuinely. Um, Give me your genuine opinion, because those are different. Yeah, no, I know they're different. I, I think it's this way, rather yeah, than that way. Yeah, let's go. Because that's too close to the bottom. Yeah, okay, let's go with that. Yeah. Because I just need to... Whatever I'm doing, I need to do consistently, otherwise I'll piss myself off. Bye bye. Oh god, did I put this on the wrong way? No, I put it on the first week. Uh, what did you do? I put it on the first week. Is that bad? Yes. Why? I'm supposed to leave the first week off so that I can do it for the video. Ruined. I'll just do the second week. Yeah, no doy. Piss me off. Piss me right off. <laughs> I don't know why you you need to leave. You need to go away, mister. <laughs> Get out of here. Oh my god. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah. What is Vogel checking himself? And then messing with the algorithm? Yeah, Vogel Vogel's messing with the algorithm because he on his channel that he runs, he uploads his videos like as a content dump. He just like posts four videos at once and then just doesn't post for a really long time and then posts another four videos at once. I'm like, that's not how this works, mister. I'm like, if you've got eight videos, then save them up for the week. I'm getting bad. Go and do your exercise. Stop talking about me when I'm in the other room. What people have to say about you is none of your business. <laughs> like I've said many times, you can talk about me, talk about me behind my back. I'm That's trying to, but you keep coming back. <laughs> Behind my back when I can hear you. That's literally the that's literally the definition of behind your back though. It's when no. you turn your back. <laughs> like, no. Get out of here. Go on, get. Oh, Mr. Vogel. Why do you do this? Why do you do this now? Just, just 
just get on the exercise cycle and leave me alone. <laughs> I know it's not an exercise cycle anymore, but it's the elliptical. The elliptical. Uh, total Midwest goodbye happening right now. Oh, it's these all our Midwest peeps. I don't know what time it is over there for you guys, but I appreciate you being here when you were, for as long as you were, because I know that like, I know that for Erica it's like five, five plus six, eleven, eleven thirty ish where she is. So I don't know what time zone is Ohio in. <laughs> I could literally never stop watching a live stream of Brown. Do something I have to do, yeah. Uh, funny. Rip. I probably shouldn't have ruled the lines all the way over because I don't know about you, but I can very faintly see them through the boxes, but it doesn't actually bother me enough to do anything about it. Because, like, I could get some white out out and um, white out the lines, but I don't think it really matters that much. It's not the biggest of deals, but I like, I like having a specific font for the um, different themes we're doing in this journal, and I like not having to write them out myself, <laughs> because that would not be the business. That would be way too much effort. Alrighty. to pick out some colours as well, aren't we? Because we're going to need to be, um... <sighs> we're going to need to colour in the infinity stones, and we're going to need to, um, do... I kind of want to do these guys, little emblems in colours as well, so I can write over the top in black. Um, like, Monday, Tuesday, X, Y, Z. Um... I mean, I don't technically need to write the days of the week. Like, I don't need to write their initials in, I just kind of figured I would, but... No, big shrug, big shrug. One, two. Just yeah, doing this kind of system, like it's not it's not quick, like you have to cut them out and then you have to put the double sided tape on and rah, rah rah but still at the end of the day, this one and this one was much quicker than this one. <laughs> like doing the little glitch boxes took forever. But um Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> Yeah, see, I, um, I asked Vogel when I set these up, and he said he wanted it to be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. If I was doing this for myself, I'd do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, but that's just me. Uh, we have been live together for 98 minutes and 53 seconds, approximately. Ah, uh, this at business is getting serious. <laughs> Here we go. Leah's here. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, working on your Sims, Bujo. 4.37 a.m. in the UK. Oh my god. Awful. <laughs> like, yeah, Jess, hey, go away. I'm trying to gossip about you. <laughs> oh, funny. Um, let's see. We scrolling through, we scrolling through. Uh, so we've done one, and I'm not, okay, we've done the first one because I'm an egg. I specifically wanted to leave this one free so that we could set it up as part of the like video. Um, but I didn't, so now we're here. I'm going to leave this one free, and then we will do this one. Back to the cut, boom. Got to, got to cut out the pieces before we can put them into the journal. Yes, yes. No. At everyone doesn't turn red for everyone. But I think it needs to be more like... Um... Specific on YouTube. You can't... You can't, uh... Do one for everybody. I think. I think, I think. I don't know if I can, but I don't think so. I don't think so. But I also haven't tried to, so. <laughs> C 
See, I like that when you stream on Facebook, people can like other people's comments, which I think is kind of nice. Um, but obviously on here, you can't do that, <laughs> which is, I don't know, less, that's less nice. Ah. Oh. Sims theme for March, that's cool. Little plum bombs, or whatever they're called. And little Sims windows and stuff. Oh, I need to release my release calendar for my YouTube. So much to do. But not enough time to do it. Okay, you got plenty of time until next month, right? It's only the 25th, you got like three days. It makes me constantly sad thinking about the fact that February only has 28 days. Well, like this year. But I'm like, oh god, the time just goes so quickly because of it. It's funny how much of a difference three days or two days can make to a, like the feeling of a month. Um, you know. One week is like a full quarter. <laughs> um, Vogel's channel is called Vogel Plays. Um, he recently changed the name of it. Uh, let's see. Vogel. Yes, please. Won't you give me a name? That's not the song we're singing right now. That link that I put in there is Vogel's journal. Vogel's channel. Vogel's video channel thing, yes. Um, there we go. Uh, let's see. Yeah, he currently has a pretty good crop of videos. At least like 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. He has at least 33 videos. Good for him. He has a whopping 44 subscribers, which I know, it's pretty good for him. Because, like, obviously he's just starting out. So, good on you, Vogel. Keep on keeping on. But sort out your release schedule. <laughs> Love and appreciation. Um, a, a ladybug theme. I have not. I have not done a ladybug theme. That'd be pretty cute, though. I think I have a bunch of ladybug, like, ladybug, ladybird stickers somewhere. Um, probably in my sticker book. But uh, I have not done a theme with them before pretty cute. Cow plants. So it wants a cow plant. Um, there we go. Yes, obviously Vogel's content is a little bit different to mine. Uh, he does like gaming stuff mainly, so he plays some Yu-Gi-Oh, he'll play some, some um, Pokemon, stuff like that. Uh, so his is not the same content as my content, but he seems to be enjoying it. Seems to be enjoying himself, which is nice. It's good to it's good to find enjoyment in these kind of things. Yeah. excellent cutting. One day I will set up my Cricut and then we can do these kind of things as proper stickers rather than, you know, cutting out lots of little pieces of paper. Yes, you are still, you are still working, right? Oh no, you're, you're very low. I'm getting, getting towards the end of this guy, which means it's time to open up a new one. Not too far off that, because that is very thin. Okay, yep, checking, making sure we're on the right page because you can never be too cautious with these kind of things. Yep, just sits on the corner of the page. Like, see, it's actually on the paper. <laughs> Sims. Yeah. Did I not say Sims? Have I confused myself? Is a cow plant in a Sims? I'm confused. <laughs> 
Oh. Wow, we're glad that you made it, Stock hey? Flowers for April. Nice. Oh, that's it. Requiesce cut in pace to our beautiful tape roller. It's gone now. It is gone. Oh, that was loud. Anywho, um, uh, thank you for being here, RCA. It was a pleasure to have you here with us. Um, and hopefully you can make it along tomorrow. It'll be fun. Um, how plants are in The Sims. Okay, well, I'm glad that they are in The Sims and I'm not totally crazy. Uh, they're a Sims staple. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry that I didn't know that. Okay, which tape roller are we going to use next? This is like exciting developments. Ooh, I can open my drawer though, because my drawer's having some struggles with opening recently, which has been really freaking helpful. She lied. Great, I rolled over my pants. Um, so we have the Express It double sided tape runner, which I haven't tried, so I'm thinking I might do that one. But we also have the Tombow and another one of the Renoirs. I think we're going to try the Express It just because the entire point of buying all of these was to try all of them. <laughs> Set up my Cricut Live. Yeah, I um, can I veto that? <laughs> it sounds stressful. <laughs> it just sounds like a lot of um work and I don't really have the time to use it right now and it would just make me sad to set it up and then not be able to use it but mainly what I'm waiting for is I'm waiting for me to um, finish planning what I want to do with my office I'm rolling over my pants again <laughs> excuse me while I attempt to put my life back together there we go so let's see this one has a little like protector and it clips back so that's cool and you can kind of roll it over stuff so let's check this one out but yeah so like setting that up well it rolls quite nicely the tape is transparent which is good comes off fairly easily which is good nice e -e -e. cool cute solid um but yeah, trying to set that up on camera uh, would just make me sad because then I won't be able to use it um, until the holidays. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I wanna I wanna set up my office a bit more first, just so it actually has a place to be set up. Because right now there's nowhere for it, um, which would be a bit just a bit sad. That's why it's sitting in the top of the cupboard, just waiting, watching, waiting, biding its time. Ah, oh, see, not a Sailor Moon theme in his journal, but I would put a Sailor Moon theme in my journal. I love Sailor Moon. I think it's great. Sailor Moon was one of my favourites when I was younger. Big nostalgia factor for me. Alright, where were we? Taping in a little piece of paper. <laughs> Not going to watch for the accent. Everything sounds better. Really? I don't know. I also think that my accent's a little bit busted. I mean, like, I can't really hear much of the Australian in me, but I suppose it's probably more obvious to people who aren't, you know, from Australia slash New Zealand. I think that's the thing, like, you know, we all think that we don't have an accent, we all actually have an accent, it's just, we're so used to the sound of our own voice, and what the people that we, you know, are around for the majority of the time sound like, so, we don't sound like we have a, an accent to ourselves. Tomorrow's live again before the end, please. Yeah, no, sure, sure. Can do well, though. Um, 
because, okay, I'm just, I'm curious about this. So in theory, if we go to YouTube and if we go to my channel, do you actually see the link to tomorrow's live? No, you can't. That's so weird. Why would, why would that be a sensible system, YouTube? Why would that be sensible? Um, we'll chuck it up again. Maybe put a community post about it too at some point so that then the peeps can come along because it's gonna be fun. It was a lot of fun the first time and uh, you know, a bit of a hoot. Uh, so let's see. Um, tomorrow's live is going to be shareable link. Paste. Send. There we go. That should be that should be the link to that um, event. It's an event now. <laughs> Just make sure it takes you to the right place otherwise that'd be a bit like whoops yep okay excellent it is totally there i'm so excited about it it's gonna be so much fun i had to reschedule my hair appointment for tomorrow to make sure that it was gonna happen because usually my hair appointment is earlier in the morning um but tomorrow it was gonna be a little bit later which meant that i was gonna arrive home too late to actually like start the live on time and i'm like well this just won't do so i rescheduled my hair appointment for like Two weeks later <laughs> so I just get to deal with my manky hair but we're gonna have fun together so that's that's what matters that wasn't straight but I don't think folk will mind yeah only on your YouTube main feed dashboard that yeah see come on YouTube what are you doing how are people supposed to find these things if you don't put them in the places that make sense and I think it's also in the um the playlist for the, um, the month of planning with me. I mean, it's not so much planning, but it's happening during our month of little live videos. So, it's fine. <laughs> Montage-ish theme. Oh yeah, that's cool. So. Progress. We are getting there. We are going places, doing things. I haven't decided how I'm going to write the numbers in because in uh, this one, February, I just wrote them underneath with a Tombow, but I haven't decided on my color palette. I think I might do black because black and red and white seem to go together. I think that seems reasonable. check we do still have that one for free excellent this is the one we're setting up ding, ding, ding. molecule theme oh that's cool i love that i love doing sciencey themes they make me happy they make me happy do you guys ever get that feeling where you're just like really just ready to set up a new journal just like get an itchy feet like <laughs> in a in a nice way like oh i just want to get out a new journal and like set up the first pages and stuff and like that fresh feeling start it's just nice i'm kind of getting a bit of that at the moment for some reason i don't really know why but it probably doesn't help that one i recently counted how many journals i actually own um and Two, I'm going to be making a video in the not too distant future about things to use a blank journal for. So I'm just like, oh, I can make one of those journals. Oh, I can make one of those journals. Jess, you you do not need to do that. You need to learn to keep up with the ones that you're already using, which you know I do. I do keep up with them fairly well. But I'm like, yeah, let's let's not let's not pile on. You know, you've got enough enough going on. on the page. <laughs> but so far, I'm not disliking this tape roller. Like, 
I just don't think it's necessarily anything to write home about. Like, the tape doesn't really come off itself as easily as it could, um, but that's not unexpected with tape rollers. At least the tape does come off the page easily enough if you put it onto the wrong piece of paper, which is good. Oh, happy birthday, Britta. That's awesome. Happy birthday and good night. <laughs> There he is. Me Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah, I think that if I had have set up my Cricut, I totally would have gone and invested in sticker paper and printed this on that and cut them out using my Cricut. My Cricut, but I have not done that yet. I also don't own sticker paper. And that is a project for later me. Future Jess's problem. <laughs> That's a future me problem. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. It's coming along though. I'm looking forward to seeing what it all looks like when the black ink is penned in. Like, that is gonna be exciting. Give me the tape. Ouch. Just like, stab myself in the finger a little bit there. That was okay. We're fine, we're fine. Aw, oh, thank you for being here, KB FFC SP SP KB SP 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 There we go. tape came out the side. We don't want it on the page because it'll make the pages kind of stick together a little. But we got it off so we're okay. Oh I want to go see what, what what you guys posted in the Discord because I'm a snoop. Because I'm a snoop. Oh the molecules are so cute. I love them. And I like that you did like the little diatomic molecules for the days of the week and the um initial. I think that's really cute too. watching this and you're not a member of our discord please do consider joining us we always love having new people come and, and uh, join our little community our little corner of the internet all of the good things you can come along to our Bujo hangout evenings that happen on Sundays my time uh, Saturdays for the time of other people that are in our community it's a good time it's a good time um, yeah hang out do journals good stuff like that if you would like to join our discord you can find links to our discord and all other social media uh, outlets that I am on in the description box below Something like that. <laughs> this message has been approved by Jess. Just dropping by to say I can't catch any of the... Oh god, what are you catching? I assume you mean the lives, but I'm not sure. <laughs> ding, ding. Sorry, you can't catch any of the lies. I'm sorry to hear that. I mean, there aren't too many more left, but um, at least you can catch the replay, mate. Hats. If you know, if you're so inclined. <laughs> Yeah, the hard thing with the lives is that obviously we can only have them at so many times because um, you know it has to kind of fit into my schedule but then those times aren't necessarily right for everybody and I do try to at least have the difference on the, the weekend like the ones that we do on the weekend are much earlier my time than um than the ones that I do during the week because during the week I have to you know, wait till school's over um, <laughs> Oh, bye, Carolyn. It was nice having you here with us. Carolyn, Caroline, Carolyn, Caroline. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, but yeah, so it's, it's just kind of sad that I can't have can't have everybody here. I can't suit everybody's time, but you know, we do we do what we can. We do what we can. She's waving at others. All good. She's still here. She's still here. There we go. Boom. Oh, it's looking good. And then we have this one. Yeah, I have my worldwide team. We've got. We are such a what? Diverse community, which is awesome. Diversity is good. And it's cool to have everybody from all across the globe tuning in in whatever way they can to come and hang out with us and do some journaling stuff. But it's sad that we can't find a time that works for everybody. But we try. I do need five weeks of those headers. I do have five weeks. I do have five weeks. I do have five weeks. I just haven't put one of them in, including this one, uh, because I want to film that one for the for the setup video for Vogel's journal. So I've done like first week, second week, which I haven't set up, third, fourth. And then after that, we're on to April. That's that's later on me's problem. <laughs> there we go. Um, all the little taping ends, taking some time up out of my life. I don't, the more I use this tape, the more I'm like, I don't know if I'd get this one again. I think I liked my Reservoir one or whatever it was that we were using before. I think I liked that one more. My favourite is still the Tombow one. Tombow roller works very well. I like the design of the tape roller. Oh, the, the fifth week ones are here. I just got them to the side. <laughs> get my pieces confused my, my people confused maybe I'm just like pressing too hard when I use it but no it's not even that it's like the tape stays stucky stays stucky <laughs> come on words stay stuck but it like doesn't roll because obviously like the part that's on the front here like that tape ends up on the page so when you touch it down it doesn't actually like start coming out until you're a little further along. I don't know if this is making any sense whatsoever because I think I'm explaining it incredibly poorly. But effectively what I'm saying is that when you roll the tape and then pull it up, obviously the part that's touching, gonna touch the page next, doesn't have tape on it, which means the place that you put the tape roller down when you start rolling doesn't actually get any tape. It starts a lot later. I don't know. I I think it's kind of inevitable that that will happen, but it does not please me greatly. Um, yes, because that happens in pretty much any tape roller, but it just seems more noticeable in this one. Maybe it's because I'm looking for excuses, looking for reasons to be annoyed. Elmer's glue tape, but you like Norino. Oh yeah. I haven't bought anything from Stationery Pal before. I think I've gotten an email from them that I need to action. I'm so bad with my emails. Like, I kind of just 
put a flag on them because I think like, oh, it's got a flag, then I know to check it later. No, I just don't go, go back and check it. <laughs> so it's not necessarily the greatest strategy, but it's the strategy I'm using. <laughs> progress. You love stationary pal too much. Yeah. Yes, no, I don't know too much about stationary pal. Um, I can't remember if it's them that I've done a, a collab giveaway with or if it was somebody else. And now I feel like I want to go check. Okay, we're going to say something that's going to sound rude, and I don't mean any offense by it, but I'm going to say it anyway, and I'm not, this isn't for stationary pal, this is just for me and my thoughts. You know those giveaways where they say like, oh, you know, like this picture and tag three friends and for an extra entry, like share to your stories or whatever. Like... I can understand why they're getting you to do those things because it like increases engagement in the post and then more people are more likely to see it, rah rah rah, rah. but usually it's then like win a pack of 12 Muji pens or win a pencil case or you know the prize just doesn't seem like worth the effort and I know that you know liking a post and commenting isn't a lot to do but I see those posts and I'm just like, I would literally rather just buy the pens myself. <laughs> like I would rather just go and buy the, the pencil case than interact with this. What's especially annoying is when it's one of those posts that's like that, that you get like, and they always use the same generic picture of like that red plastic shopping basket with a whole bunch of stationery in it. And I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but it's like that red plastic shopping basket with a whole bunch of stationery in it. And it's not even stationery that's included in the giveaway and it pisses me off so much. Like it makes me so irrationally angry, <laughs> but I'm like, you can't have the first picture of your giveaway be stuff that isn't even part of the giveaway. Like what's the, yeah, it just feels like a gimmick. It feels like, it feels like a lie and it feels dishonest and I don't like it. Especially because they attach all of these pictures of like, you know, these are the things that you could win and it's not, it's not those, those things though. Like, it's just having a whole bunch of pictures of stuff so people get excited about it, but at the end of the day they only get to pick one of the items. And the items are like, they're not expensive items. And I, I know that that probably shows my privilege. Um, and yes, I recognize that I, I'm well off, off enough to be able to buy my own stationary bits and whatever, but like, it bothers me. <laughs> it really just bothers me. Um, Cause then you have the ones that are like that, but they don't just get you to follow the one person. You have to follow like four different accounts. And I'm just like, if I'm not already following them, I don't want to follow four different accounts to get a $2 pencil case. Like, I'll go buy my own $2 pencil case. <laughs> Hi, mom. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes I'm more irrational than I than I could be. I like to think I'm very logical. But yeah, it bothers me. Piss me right off. <laughs> there we go. Not too shabby. We are going to put in the numbers and I think we're gonna do a similar thing to what we did last month where we had the numbers just underneath, like, they seemed to be fine. They were tucked out of the way. Vogel didn't seem to... Vogel didn't seem to take issue with them. What happened here? Oh, I didn't actually stick it down. <laughs> yeah, there aren't many CRGs. So yes, this is Mum CRG. Also known as Mum. <laughs> That's better. Because I was... I thought that I'd, like, not stuck it in properly. And it had, like moved and then stuck itself to the page in a weird way. There we go. Twink, twink. Yeah. And speaking about giveaways, we have a giveaway that we need to run at some point because <laughs> I still have... Oh dear. Let's just pick it up and bring it over. I still have all of this washi tape that we need to give away. Like all of this, all of these, 
that need to be given away because I don't want them. We've got the chonky cats, we've got the Christmas washi, and we've got the little leaves and the little trees and like so all of this giant box needs to be given away. But that is a later me's problem as well. Not our focus right this second. <laughs> giveaway you need to tag three friends in the comments and like this video 17 times and share it to your Facebook and your Twitter and your Instagram and no no we will have none of that <laughs> let's put in some numbers before I trigger myself again <laughs> and we have to remember that this doesn't get a number and that we are going to do those ones later alrighty <laughs> <laughs> Mom's just like, hi world! <laughs> there we go. So, Monday is the 28th. 28th. Which makes you the first. And we're gonna do 01. Zero 01. Zero checking. Seven. <laughs> Fourteen. None there, because that's the notes. There we go. There we go. Three, four, five, six. Yeah, see, I don't mind doing it like. Usually, when I do a giveaway, it's usually focused on one particular platform. So, like, let's just say we're doing a giveaway on YouTube. Um, I typically use what's called King Sumo to do my giveaways just because it keeps track of everybody's entries a lot easier and I am lazy and it also kind of like you just press a button and it just like picks a winner at random which is nice and easy as well um and so on those I'll have like the main things you need to do so like you know if it's a YouTube giveaway then it's like you need to be subscribed <laughs> doy um and that's like the requirement for entering the giveaway and then I'll have the, the possibility of like getting extra entries and it's like you know so hey if you follow me on Instagram you can have a couple extra if you follow me on Facebook you can have a couple extra but there's no requirement to do that to be entered if that makes sense and I typically make it that whatever gives you the most entries is the thing that I want you to do so like I might say like oh yeah you get five entries for following me or, or like being a subscriber on YouTube because that's the like the focus and then might you could get like an extra entry if you follow me on Instagram or something like that but yeah 14 21 
yeah, it's sad that like you know they they're kind of pitching the the giveaway through a specific social media platform, but then saying like oh to actually enter you need to do all of these other things, um, which like it makes sense. Okay, if we come back to these ones of like doing a giveaway with multiple people, all right? I am totally fine with there being giveaways done between multiple people, provided the prize actually feels like worthwhile, <laughs> you know? Um, you know, I, I just, it's, it's when you have to have like five accounts or something that you're supposed to follow for a $2 pencil case. I'm like, no, that's not, that's not necessary. Um, so typically with, because we've had a question, how do you differentiate the months? Um, typically for any month that I'm doing, uh, like a weekly, I do the weekly in the month that has the majority of the days of the week. So like, it has seven days, because it's a week, doy, and four of them are in March. So this weekly goes in March, and then on this next page, we start April. So this will be like the April cover page, the April quote page, um, April monthly log, and then we're into the next week, if that kind of makes sense. So flipping back to the start of March, say, or end of February. So Monday through Sunday for February 21 to 27. But then the next week, there's only one day of the week that's in February. So we put that in March instead, because six of those days are in March. Yeah. So I don't actually like on the weekly say like Feb or anything like that. Um, I might depending on the layout. Uh, so if there's a layout where I'm actually writing like the months in, I might do that. But on these ones, we're just kind of keeping it simple. We've just got the little initial and then the number. So it's kind of like infer from context kind of a thing. <laughs> Trick break. Tink. I think it totally counts to have a Discord though. Yeah, you know, because of me. I apologize if I made you get another social media platform, but I also love that you're part of our community and yay for being part of the Discord. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Um, is that enough ranting about <laughs> giveaways? Again, yeah, that whole thing of like, don't make people do too much for a prize that feels underwhelming. It just feels lame. <laughs> but hey. I think that's all we're gonna do for today. So like I said, I do want to do the actual penning in of these pages. Um, and it was ideally this one, but now gonna be this one. I'm gonna do that uh, as part of a filmed video, which in theory, fingers crossed, will come out on Sunday. So you guys will get to see the finished product through that. I'm gonna skadoodle. I'm gonna go get Vogel off the elliptical and maybe go make some dinner. So I will say, Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. If you liked this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you made it to the end on the replay, you should give us a... Oh, what kind of emoji should they give us? God, so many, so many different good ones. I'm trying to think of one that would be relevant to what we've actually done here today. Hmm. An emoji that is red. Any red emoji. We will take any red emoji we can get because that is the only colour that we've played with today. Uh, thanks for being here, team. Come along tomorrow. It's going to be sweet. Yeah, if you leave a tomato, you get extra points. <laughs> Goodbye, gorgeous humans. I will see you later. If I can remember how to turn this off.